girls here in the correlation we have the two methods are there here in the methods of measurement correlation we will go for the graphic method or algebraic method in the graphic method already we did the scatter diagrams through how whatever the values they are giving you have to show into the diagram only but here in the algebraic method we have the corel pearson coefficient correlation method and spearman's rank correlation method and concurrent deviation method and least square method mostly here in our mba that corel pearson coefficient correlation and spearsman rank correlation will come how you can identify that problem into the in the question paper now i will explain reason here in the corel pearson correlation that values you can see about on that one the positive positive and negative simple and partial multiple linear and non linear is there na here whatever the correlation values are there that it will be increasing into the ascending order or descending order it will be coming here you see that one descending order will come then you have to use the corel pearson coefficient method <coughs> corel pearson coefficient method you have to use here you see the in the rank correlation that values will be in not in appropriate order it is into the non linear thing it will be coming here that's why you can find whatever the correlation problem will be giving into the fifth unit this is regular ascending order descending order is there then you can do the corel pearson coefficient method or here it will be that order of the numbers will coming into like that that moment you have to find the ranks r1 r2 yes do you know about that formula na for that pur purpose like that you have to identify the correlation problem okay all the best for your examination bye